Hey, it's Danny from Conscious Calisthenics here, and Jin, my friend that I train, is going to show you a full a body weight shoulder workout. So, first off, she's doing this resistance band pull down exercise, as I would call it. So, you have the resistance band wrapped around a pole, like she has, or something that you can wrap it around. You put your arms quite wide apart, a bit further than shoulder width apart. Really grip in as tight as you can. This is really good for improving your grip strength. It also works your forearms as well as your shoulders. And what you do is you stand far enough away from the bar so when you're pulling straight down your arms, as you can see, don't bend your arms, keep them straight. You make them come all the way down with the medium momentum. And the further you get down, the more you're gonna feel it in your shoulders. And the further you away you are, the harder it's gonna be. And the wider your hands are apart, the harder it's gonna be. So if you find it too easy, move further back and or make your hands wider on the resistance band. And you're gonna to want, to want to have quite a thin resistance band for this. The thicker it is, the harder it's gonna be. We've got one of the thinnest ones that you can possibly buy. If you don't have resistance bands, I'm gonna put some links down below for sets of resistance bands. There'll be UK, US and worldwide suppliers for them in case you're interested in them. Resistance bands are what I'd recommend anyone that does body weight training to have in their house. And you wanna do around 12 to 15 reps, which is in the hypertrophy range, which is gonna help maximize your muscle growth. And there's gonna be six different exercises in this entire workout. You're gonna to wanna to rest around 60 seconds. If you find you need to rest a bit longer, you could rest for a minute and a half to two minutes, but I wouldn't recommend any longer than that. Ideally, you do wanna only rest for around 60 seconds. But if you find the rest intervals too short where you can't recover enough to actually do the next exercise that you're gonna do with the amount of reps you wanna do, then make sure that you do rest longer. And make sure you're being conscious of your breath like she is. And the next exercise that she is gonna be moving on to does require rings as you can see she's waiting to use them now and she's going to do an inverted row hold and you'll get to see exactly what that is in a second and for this one just max it out so when i say max it out hold it for as long as you can so grip the rings as tight as you possibly can this is going to really improve your grip strength for this exercise as well and keep in a completely straight line so your core is fully engaged, all of your arm muscles, your leg muscles, your glutes, everything is fully engaged. And you wanna be in a straight line like a pencil. And this does require you to have some balance. She leant forward slightly then, but she corrected herself and balanced herself up. So as you can see from the side, she has everything perfectly engaged and she's in really good form. She's wobbling a little bit, but that's absolutely fine. And yeah. Keep your arms fully extended. If you want to make it harder, which I actually said to her at one point to make it a little bit harder, you can lift up and hold, or you could lift up and do reps. So you could lift up like that, then come all the way back down and go back up. But I told her to lift up, as you can see she is now, and just holding there for as long as she could. And I said, is that harder? She said, yes, it is harder, which obviously it is. And look, you see, she's trying to pull it up even more. So it challenges herself. So yeah, just do the best that you can do. Some people might be a little bit scared of doing this, but as long as you're careful when getting into this exercise, then you should be completely safe. I've never had any issues with it or anyone else that I've taught it before. So yeah, she did pretty damn well there. I think she did around a minute and a half. So that was really, really good. And again, gymnastics rings are something that I'd recommend that everyone has that does body weight training it challenges you so for example you could do dips dips on a bar are way easier than on rings you could do way more reps on rings and there's certain exercises you could do with rings that you couldn't do without them and it helps really improve your stability and i'm telling you they're going to help you get way way stronger if you are using rings consistently for many different exercises rather than just using bars for training if you don't have these these don't cost a lot of money or i put links down below for some 
suppliers that sell some of the highest quality gymnastics rings possible. I recommend everyone has it in their body weight training equipment, you could say. And yeah, it's just going to help you become a much better all-round athlete. And she's adjusting them now because she's going to do Australian pull-ups. So for these, she needs the rings to be a lower. And she's trying to find, well, even before we started the video, we found out what sort of height she needed at, well, the rings to be at. So she could actually do the exercise where it's challenging enough, but where it's not too easy. And then she will demonstrate to you in a short while this exercise as well. And I'd recommend doing around 12 to 15 reps. So have your body completely engaged every single muscle, be in a straight line like she is now. Have your arms like that. And when you come up, twist them inwards. And it's gonna work in your shoulders. It's also gonna work your back as well. And this exercise is one of the progressions to help people actually be able to go towards doing full pull-ups. So by doing these consistently in a workout, it's gonna help you to be able to go in direction to do pull-ups once and for all if you can't do them, or if you can already do them, it will help you to be able to do more push-ups. And what I say with this one is, the lower the rings are, the flatter your body is gonna be, so the lower the angle is gonna be even, and the harder it will be. So find an angle that it really, really challenges you, and make sure you pull yourself all the way up like she is, fully, fully, fully. And you could pause for a second or two at the top and then the bottom, which will make it way harder. And if you're someone that wants to make it even more challenging for yourself, you can actually do it with one arm as well, which is what I would personally do in my own workouts if I was going to do Australian pull-ups. So, yeah, the next exercise she is going to be moving on to is handstand holds. And... You can get into a handstand hold different ways. You can either be in the position that she's in now and kick your feet up, which a lot of people find quite hard, or, which she didn't demonstrate, it would have been good for me to tell her to do this, but it's fine. You can turn around the other way and walk your feet up a wall or a pole so your face would actually be facing the pole or wall that you're against. And that is a really good way to practice handstands to get to the perfect form because facing against the wall is going to make you stay flat because a lot of people end up doing these banana handstands with their backs arched and that's not perfect form so she's doing her best to kick up into the handstand and i just told her to max it out so for you as well just max it out and she's trying to practice as you can see kicking off so she can actually do a handstand without being against the pole. I didn't tell her to do that, but that's what she wanted to do. And she fell down, but that's fine. So she just gets back up as soon as she possibly can and just keeps going. But that's a really good way to practice handstands. She's got a little bit of a bend. She could be a bit stretched. She needs to push through her hands and her shoulders a bit more, and then it would straighten up her body. But she's doing pretty damn well. So yeah. As she's just done, just hold it for as long as you possibly can. This is a very challenging exercise because all of your body weight is upside down and on your shoulders. So don't expect to hold it for a very, very long period of time. And you don't necessarily need to kick off like she was. Like I said, I didn't tell you that, but she wanted to do that. It's good for her to practice the handstands. But if I was personally doing them, because I've never tried to consistently practice doing handstands, I wouldn't even bother trying to kick off. I would just hold there for as long as possible. So yeah, she's doing really, really, really good. And just remember, when you're working out, it's gonna be a challenge for your mind and your body. So you need to push through your mind's limitations that is gonna be this weakness within you that's gonna make you wanna quit. And you may whine and complain in your head and say, oh, I can't do this, but you need to just push through that weakness. Just make it happen. If you wanna get the results that you wanna get, you need to train really hard. So she was gonna do push-ups on the rings at quite a high angle but she was having some issues doing it before we made the video she was actually able to do it and then during the workout she wasn't able to so it was like okay scrap that so we moved on to pseudo plank holds so you want parallettes for these you don't necessarily need parallettes but i find it feels way more comfortable and i just really love using parallettes so with this one being a push-up position be on the tips of your toes and lean forward as much as you possibly can. The further that you lean forward, the harder it's going to be. 
And over time, as you get even better with this, once you get to a certain point where you're pushing yourself so far forward, your feet will start to lift off. So you can do full planches, but that is a very advanced body weight exercise. And make sure that you're in a straight line in that push-up position, your core is engaged, your glutes, everything's engaged. Really grip, really tight onto the parallettes. Like I said, lean forward as much as you possibly can. And for this one, just max hold it for as long as you possibly can. And this is actually quite a challenging exercise. This is gonna be working more on your front deltoids rather than your rear or mid deltoids. And I personally love doing push-ups with these, but she's a beginner, so she cannot do the pseudo plank push-ups on the parallels for understandable reasons. You might be able to do them. So if you want to make it more challenging for yourself, you could either lean way more forward than she is, or you could do pseudo plank push-ups on the parallels. And if you haven't got parallels, I'll also put links down below for supplies for those because, yeah, the gymnastics rings, resistance bands, and the parallettes and also a weighted belt which I have at home are pretty much the only bits of equipment that I've bought for calisthenics. And obviously a weighted dip belt is for people that are way more advanced that want to maximize muscle growth and really improve the strength from really, really challenge themselves. But that's not for beginners whatsoever. I only bought them way later into my own personal journey. And for this one, she tried to, to do some straight bar dips, but she could only do around three reps. So I said instead, just do jumping straight bar dips and do the eccentric part as slow as possible, as you can see she's doing now. So you want a bar like she has now, be to the side of it, jump up and get up into the straight bar dip position and then come down as low as you can. That's the eccentric part. As slow as you possibly can, and the lower that you can go down and the slower that you can go, you're going to get greater benefits for it, fatiguing your muscles and growing your muscles as much as possible when resting and covering. And I recommend when jumping up, try not just jump straight up into the full locked arm out position. She isn't doing that at all, but just jump up enough so you can actually get up into the full extended position. And you'll see how I do that now. So there, she's pushing up a bit rather than just jumping straight into the straight arm dip position. And with this one, you want to do around 12 reps. If you can do more, just do 15. And this is also really going to help you progress towards muscle ups with the eccentric parts of this exercise. And it will really help you go towards being able to do full straight bar dips. The eccentric part is always the easiest part on any exercise. Getting back up is the hardest part. So, yeah, she is just doing a progression because, yeah, like I said, she can't do many reps, four reps of the straight bar dips. So, yeah, she's doing really, really well. She is finding this a very intense challenge for her, really pushing her to her limits. I'm very proud of her. And yeah, she's really just doing the best that she can do, which is all that anyone can do. So that is the end of the workout. If you have any questions, leave them down below. If you like the video, like it down below. If you'd like us to make any more workout videos, let us know down below. We'll make them for you as soon as possible. Don't forget to share this with others and don't forget to subscribe and click the bell notification button next to the subscribe button. Otherwise, YouTube will not notify you of when new videos are uploaded and I have new ones coming almost every single day. So as always, stay fit, stay energetic and go get those gains. Peace.